Well, we had a rollover. Got a little wet and had a tank sitting on a on really soft dirt and she rolled over. Broke that line. I got to figure something out on that, but here we go. <laughs> pretty heavy well I was able to get a little more center of gravity on her and get her up in the air but uh, pretty sure my tires are back on the ground yeah this should be good now I got to dig a hole and find out where that line is underneath the ground somewhere in here well I'm running into all sorts of problems out here I found the underground buried line uh, tracer tape but I did the right thing and forced the shovel um, too hard went in too deep and busted it so now I gotta find a shovel and it's starting to snow but uh, we'll get her done well I got a new shovel uh, borrowed one from the, the guys out here and I found the line so what happened was when this tank rolled it uh, pulled it just completely separated this line pull itself away from it and just snap and then uh, so now I got to dig it clear back so that um, I can have enough slack to come back up out of the ground and hook it back to the tank so I'll be digging for a while all right here we go so I got this riser off it just screws onto there here's the old uh, old line that was in the riser and uh, one thing I like about these risers is, so this riser is called an X riser, X line riser, X riser. And because um, the other, the old uh, risers, you get that put in there. And um, once you've got in there, you can't take it back off you'll have to put a new riser on and so this one has got a, a union on it you can break that union pull it out and then put the new slide the new line in and hook it back up again so i don't have to use a a new riser so that's kind of the update for right now still going at it with this line just got to move that tank back over here and Get it level so it doesn't roll again all right now we got that hose through the or that riser um, or the gas line through this riser 
and that's how it's supposed to look about an inch out so now I gotta move that tank back in its new spot <laughs> this block swinging around here got the tank where she needs to be pretty good blocks there it's a little muddy but uh, hopefully they don't care about how close it is to this driveway here but uh, next step is to put that block it's got to be three feet away from that tank for protection. I mostly want it there so that just in case if it does roll, it will kind of bump into that block so that we don't have that broken line issue again. I've never, um, you know, like I said before, never had something like this happen before. But uh, getting her done. We got it all hooked back up again one thing you got to remember about these x risers is uh gotta make sure this nut bottoms out with this fitting right here or it ain't gonna seal um that's just the instructions on it and the training you have with um lpg so um there's a bunch of steps you got to take before doing this but that's part of um, my training as a licensed um, installer is um, not everyone can do this so and also these uh, risers you have to have a contractor's license to buy them so anyway um, just kind of a disclaimer there but anyway I think it worked out pretty good Got the block in, needs to be three feet away. Um, one of the codes there. Uh, also another code is if your tank is within 15 feet of uh, vehicle access, you need to have um, a block here, which we call uh, crash protection. So um, we'll get this baby turned back on and get it leak checked and, and uh, Hopefully this video was uh, entertaining and um, educational, I guess. Um, it was a pretty uh, muddy mess, uh, covered in mud, but uh, got her done. So yeah, um, leave your comments in the comment section and let me know uh, what I can do to make it uh, more, uh, um, I don't know, more exciting, funnier, entertaining. Um, but, uh, you know, propane isn't really that exciting, I guess. So, anyway, over and out.